Now from mid-April to date, one of the things that we've been seeing or one of the good things that we've been seeing from NIO is of course the orders continuing growing steadily and showing no signs of slowing down. I mean, you will remember that for the month of April, NIO delivered total deliveries of 15,620. Whilst we saw the month later, which is May, NIO delivering over 20,500, which is something that once again shows the steady growth of NIO. And over and above that, during the Q1 earnings, we saw NIO giving a guidance of 54 to 56,000, which therefore means that right now for this month, they are expecting to deliver vehicles of between 18 to 20,000. Now, this shows that NIO is confident from their orders that they can still manage to deliver some very good deliveries even this month. I mean, we've been going through uh, on a weekly basis the orders that Carfens China has been giving us, which shows NIO getting an average of 5,000 orders since April to date, which is something that is pretty exciting. I mean, if we are to just easily multiply 5,000 each and every week and maybe average four weeks per month, it simply means that obviously simple NIO can deliver 20,000 on average. But one of the things that we saw the NIO CEO and the president stressing is that there is currently a problem in NIO of the production capacity not being able to meet the demand of orders which are there. This is something that the NIO CEO, NIO themselves have confirmed to say that, you know what, we have got a problem with the production not being able to meet the demand. But the good thing that we saw, especially towards the end of May or the last week of May, is that NIO has got the potential and the capacity to sell or to deliver 6,700 on a weekly basis. But one thing that we've been seeing from the first two weeks of June from the life insurance registration is that the numbers are not really that good. And yes, I don't want to go to the reason as to why the numbers were not that good, but especially for the 3,400 insurance registrations we received this week, we've discussed about the production line adjustments and all those kind of things, Neo producing their own Vo L60 exhibition cars. We've discussed those rumors, but of course, one thing that we need not to miss or one thing that we need to have in our minds is that Neo Neo orders continue showing steady growth and they are not slowing down. And what is causing these orders to grow, you will know that number one is the Xiaomi SU7 launch. You will know that on the 28th of March, which is the date where the Xiaomi SU7 was launched, it received record-breaking orders. There's no doubt about that. Everyone was talking about that car. The car is beautiful and all those kind of things. But what made now Neo to get uh, or to benefit from that launch is when, of course, the Neo uh, Xiaomi CEO indicated that if people cannot wait, of course, for Xiaomi, they can go and opt to buy Neo, Neo ET5, and I think Xpeng P7. Those are some of the vehicles that he recommended. Those people that could not wait for their Xiaomi SU7 order to go and purchase. There is no doubt that, of course, that gave attraction to Neo, which is why we've been seeing them receiving some pretty good orders. Now, the second thing that, of course, fueled the Neo's orders, or that is fueling Neo to receive these many orders, is because of their battery price adjustment or battery rental price adjustment. You will know that in March, still, Neo came out and reduced both their uh, standard batteries and their long range batteries rental prices for the on a monthly basis i mean the long-term battery price came from over 1500 rnb to just around 1128 rnb whilst the standard version came from just around 960 or almost a thousand rnb to 728 rnb which that is one of the things that fueled a lot of people to coming into neo because the battery rentals, according to people, it was a bit pricey, which is why maybe they were not opting to buy because we saw, in fact, that most of the people that were buying Neo uh, from April to date, most of them, they are opting for bus or they are choosing bus battery as a service, which entails them utilizing 
new battery swapping stations, which shows that that incentive is also working, which is why we are seeing most of the people that are buying the new cars uh, choosing or subscribing to bus. In fact, there's a city where uh, it highlighted, I think around May, that 90% uh, of the people that were placing their orders into that city, they were subscribing to bus battery as a service, which is something that is obviously pretty interesting. These are the main two catalyst, main two uh, incentives that are making new orders to come. But over and above this, we've got, you will know that there is 10,000 RNB that new it's offering to those that are changing their old car to a new car. And I think 80,000 RNB to those that are buying the latest uh, NEO NT2.0 cars. Uh, these are the incentives, the catalyst that are fueling uh, uh, NEO sales, that are making NEO's orders to continue on a steady growth, which is something that, like I said, it is pretty exciting and pretty decent. And as long as these incentives, catalyst subsidies are here, we are going to see NEO uh, continuing with the momentum of uh, receiving pretty good orders and also delivering some pretty good sales i know we want neo to deliver over twenty thousand this month but yeah looking at the insurance registrations that neo has received thus far i think we can agree that somewhere the guidance that neo gave us is what exactly we are to expect if not more but if we receive more it will be a bonus but what i expect now is just neo to deliver within their guidance which they gave to us. So 5,000 is on an average orders that NEO is, is receiving on a weekly basis. And though NEO has not confirmed the figures, we know that they've confirmed a couple of times to say that they've got a lot and lots of orders or the orders that are receiving are surpassing the kind of production or their production capacity that they've confirmed, both the CEO and the president of NEO. They've confirmed that and from the information from Carfence China, since mid-April to date, NEO has been getting an average orders of around 5,000 on a weekly basis, which is something that is pretty exciting, something that makes me to be really excited. And NEO should start, I think, selling those vehicles, sell as many vehicles as they can to make sure that also come month end, they deliver some pretty good massive deliveries i look forward to the june deliveries because ladies and gents there are so many people that are saying neo cannot maintain this kind of orders and therefore they see neo orders going back to ten thousand. which yeah i would like to wish them good luck to see that because personally i think worst case scenario neo can deliver fifteen thousand from now on probably going forward unless something happened to their catalyst incentives that they're currently offering but otherwise, this growth, I think it's now quite steady. And we could see the days when you are selling 10,000 on a monthly basis, not coming back again, especially with the own Vosa brand or their first sub brand being launched towards the end of this year. Second sub brand coming, of course, uh, in the first half of next year. That in itself tells us that the days for 10,000 for Neo might be in the review mirror and right now or this year neo will easily reach over 200,000 deliveries from just their new brand which is something that is pretty exciting and i look forward to that otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you this quick updates if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that likes button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you buy new for the very first time do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable as you are investing onto this stock otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all